February 11th. Today we'll begin our excursion at the IDS Center. And this is a challenge excursion. One of the constant viewers of these videos, Tim Smith said of the Skyways, it's just like the airport, except no airplanes. Except, I think I remember there is an airplane some damn place. Some place here, and I think I know where it is. I think it's in Butler Square. And so we're going to go down and right across there to Macy's, to various Skyways, then to parking garages A and B and C at the very end of the Skyway to see if we can discover this airplane. We'll have many other adventures along the way. Now we go into Macy's, which used to be Dayton's, and used to be Marshall Fields, which was Dayton's first. There's Nicollet Mall. Please notice it's not below zero anymore. However, it is snowing. Walking through Macy's, and now into Highland Bank Court, the line at Andrea's Pizza. Oh my God. Crossing over now into LaSalle Avenue. Continuing, taking a right, and we're now down on Hennepin. And this hotel right here, now closed, was perhaps the sleaziest hotel in the Midwest. I'll tell you a bit more about it later. Go. Hi. Now, instead of taking a right to the Butler Square building, I took a left to go down to where the ground bus depot is, Author Transportation Center, because I want to show you the back of the hotel that we discussed. Here's the faded sign on the back of the hotel. It looked like, I could never make it out, it looked like Toomsie Hotel or whatever. But I went to the city directories and after a lot of research found out it was called the Tourist Hotel. And it belonged to the most prominent aerial acrobat of the Midwest in the 20s. And his favorite <coughs> uh, trick was the, quote, plane crashes into house trick. Clean, comfortable rooms. $14 a week. And now we're actually into one of the parking ramps, parking ramp A. Continuing on parking ramp Skyway A, it goes ever and ever on. We're right at the Target Center. What does that say Target Center? Does it? That's the Target Center. Now on the ramp to the Target Center and past the Target Center, we're going by Target Field, uh, Major League Baseball, newest stadium. Now we're actually on parking ramp B. Skyway. A Skyway map illuminated. But now we can turn into Butler Square. Turning into Butler Square. Butler Square, a great space with acrobats and melancholy sculptures. And by God, an aeroplane. a general store, a puppy, and great photos of old Minneapolis. You've seen this before. On the B ramp, and then going to the C ramp far away. The most melancholy view. The new French bar when I first got here, what, 87? This was the place to go. Extraordinary hipsters like Ralph Berger could be seen here. But now, and for a long time, it's been abandoned. Approaching the end of the sea ramp. The very end, you can't go no more. But a few weeks back, I put a nickel on top of the fire extinguisher cabinet here, as I've done for years. Let's see whether it's still there. Yes. Okay, let's wait. Now I could go back through the skyways but hell, it's, it's like 20 degrees out on this walk back and maybe it'll be something a little bit more interesting. Exiting the Skyway at the extraordinarily appointed bus stop. Do -do 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 -do. Just in case, Runyon's has been voted uh, overwhelmingly as the best place for chicken wings in the Midwest. I don't eat them, but I know many of you do, so go to Runyon's. The American Surplus Store. 
I remember that guy. I don't remember him though. Then into the library. That noise is a hydro vac cleaning our sewage system inside the library, but no time to go in. Consult the city directory and find out where the Purple Onion Pizza Parlor was, where Bob Dylan spent his last night in Minnesota. Then down Nicollet Mall into Neiman Marcus, and so an end. Ah, what beauty!